everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and it's Blu-ray DVD update time. Blu-ray DVD update time. Blu-ray DVD update time. And these are movies I should have showcased on June 13th. I went to go see Ocean's 8 on June 13th, and then I went to Target because it's literally across the street from the Sinmark Dinner Theater. And then that's when I bought these movies. The first movie I bought from Target is Love, Simon. Now, literally before I recorded this video, I finally, finally recorded my video review for Love, Simon. So, uh, you don't have to wait too long for that video review. But if I have to just give you like my short and sweet thoughts on Love, Simon, I think this movie is one of the best movies of the year. I I think it tells a really great story. I think it's definitely a very important movie for sure. The characters were very compelling. I really got behind Simon and the performances were really, really great. Obviously, I'm gonna get more to the performances in my video review because I feel like I did at least a good enough job getting to that. But yeah, everyone's really great here. Um, nice to see Nick Robinson just come so far in his career. Uh, Greg Berlanti uh, did a a beautiful job directing the film. Screenwriting really does deserve a lot of props for how natural it really does feel. Such a great movie. You'll hear more of my thoughts when the video review is up, but yeah, I adored Love, Simon. Hands down one of the best films of 2018. I'm very, very glad that I owe it on Blu-ray. The next one is quite controversial. Um, I know not a lot of people like this movie but I gotta be honest you know I found enjoyment in it uh, Kingsman the Golden Circle I really like this film I am not ashamed to admit that I really like this film I think it's on par with the first both of these movies to me are solid movies they're solid fun entertaining movies in my opinion and I did already review this film if you want to see more of um, you know my pros. I definitely do have my issues But it is one of those cases where for me the positives do outweigh the negatives I still had a lot of fun with the action. I had a lot of fun with the characters I still love following Eggsy. Eggsy is so So good here. Taron Edgerton. He was honestly born to play Eggsy. Colin Firth even though one of my issues is that he didn't really need to necessarily come back in this film. He is still really good here. Channing Tatum even though he's underused uh, he's still really good. Everyone else really good. Mark Strong really great too. I need to mention that. And I even did really like Julian Moore as Poppy the antagonist of the film. And I did feel Matthew Vaughn did a very good job writing the film. Elton John's uh, extended cameo in this film that made me laugh so yeah i still had a really entertaining time watching this film i personally did dig the hell out of this and i'm really glad that i own it now now for the final film and i definitely had to own this to complete um you could say my collection hey arnold the jungle movie and i did actually review this one last year uh, so if you guys want to watch my video review, obviously you are more than welcome to watch that. But if you don't know my thoughts on this, I love this movie. I think it served as a great series finale to the cartoon that we should have gotten a long time ago. But the fact that we did finally get it, the fact that I got to really um, see these characters and really get into their journey at least one last time really is so great. The animation is very beautiful. Like, it's definitely better than the cartoon, and that's saying something because the animation on the cartoon, the character designs, it looks really great. But obviously with technology advancing, and obviously since this cartoon hasn't been around for a very long time, of course the animation is gonna be at its best. The voice performances were really strong here. Everyone felt like the characters that I personally adored from the cartoon. Very great writing, and not to mention that the humor in this movie is top notch. There are so many moments where this film actually makes me genuinely laugh. And obviously I'm not gonna spoil anything, but where this film ended, 
truly was great and just like what I said it serves as not only just as a great movie but just as a great series finale to um, personally my second favorite Nickelodeon cartoon of all time I actually own that box set if you guys remember a few years ago I bought the entire Hey Arnold box set so this is a nice you could say completion um, to the Hey Arnold boxes that I have, and I own Hey Arnold the movie on VHS, which, you know, I don't care about that, but, you know, I've had it since as a kid, uh, it's a VHS, so at least I own everything Hey Arnold related. And that about does it for my Blu-ray DVD update. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. I always really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. And the comments down below let me know what you think about Love, Simon, Kingsman the Golden Circle, and Hey Arnold the Jungle Movie. This is Twenty Tiger Dude here. And don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power. I will jump.